And now I shall turn my attention to another car-driving cinema hero. Mad Max. He's the Australian road warrior trying desperately to survive in a post-apocalyptic world where everyone's killing each other over oil. But I mean, like, olive oil or anything like that. I mean, proper oil. Anyway, in the film, he drives a Ford XB Falcon. But I think if Mad Max were to be made today, they'd be using a lot of these. <laughs> Cars made of not much at all. In particular, the aerial atom. And the KTM Expo. The whole thing about Mad Max is there was nothing left. The whole world was a sort of scrappy challenge. So these cars where you can see their underwear, they're just perfect. Undoubtedly, the baddies would have the tubular steel-framed Atom because their vehicles all look like they've been knocked up from some nick scaffolding. But they were still fast, and this supercharged Honda engine version has 300 bhp and is good for 0 to 60 in under three seconds. <laughs> But this would be Mad Max's car. It's the Expo, made by Austrian bike specialist KTM, and it's a track day car. You don't say! This one is the R, the even more hardcore than the normal hardcore version. version. With a 2-litre turbo Audi engine giving it 296 bhp. But it is slower than the Atom, because it weighs 300 kilograms more. But I still think this is the correct one for Mad Max. It just looks more menacing somehow. In fact, that's the vision I have right now. Mel Hammond fending off the baddies in his expo. A precision instrument. Where's he gone? Where's he? Oh, there he is. In the end, though, and I don't know why I'm surprised by this, the Atom's extra speed does tell. Oh, he's Basically, what I've done here is choose Mad Max's car on looks. And now he's dead. If Britain is a good place to go on holiday, mm -hmm. this being the middle of May, that beach would be packed. How many people are on that beach? It's a beautiful beach, you cannot deny. No. That is the world as Adam would have known it. Come that on. is a beautiful beach because nobody is on it, because everybody is in Florida. There is more to actually appreciating the world and even having a holiday than being hot. Where did you go on holiday last year? Syria. Yes, because it's historically interesting. And hot. Where did you go the year before? Africa. Which is? Hot. And the, year, but the year before that, I went to India. Hot. Hmm. And now you see the secret. It sort of folds out section by section. I might have underestimated the build time, actually. It is getting dark, um, but they'll keep a pint for me. And they will be knocked out when they see the accommodation my motorhome provides. I forgot where this goes. Uh, right, it's around here. Or is it the library? No, it's here. How has your motorhoming holiday been so far? Excellent. You've enjoyed your drive down? Well, yes, I've been driving through the English countryside in Lotus. It was superb. With a roof box? Yeah, but you don't know that it's got a camper uh, motorhome Canvas. On top. It's canvas, isn't it? It is doped canvas, yes. That, that is doped. based on the Vickers FB5 gun bus. Yes, it's finished with dope to make it tight. Well, so it's got marijuana on it? Yes. Can I just say that I haven't enjoyed my motorhoming experience so far? That car is lethal. Can I say, interestingly, I have enjoyed your 
motorhoming experience so far. It is one of the funniest days in my life. Now, this is not a piece of sort of camping it up for television. I have never laughed so much in my life as I have driving behind you, watching your block of flats rock from side Does to side. Does it really? Tempered only by the fear that it would fall over backwards and kill me. But it was worth the risk. But it was hilarious. We are both here. I am not dead. Yet. And n no, I'm not dead. I'm going to spend the night in a spacious, spacious motorhome. Mm -hmm. You, on the other hand, are going to spend it in a fuel roof box. It's spacious enough. So, could you sit up? If I raise the roof. Could you sit up and be indoors? No. Yeah. At least our motorhomes were ready from the moment we arrived, as opposed to Hammond, who hasn't arrived in our surfer's convention here. True. All I had to do was park. Uh, okay. Just slots under there. Slots under there. Right. Et voilà. And then now we're down here waiting, as surfer people do, as tick. Follows talk. I tell you Follows what, tick. surfer dude. Follows talk. That's what we do. We wait. We wait. Tick. Follows talk. We're waiting for him and follows talk. Follows tick. Talk. Youthful surfer dude. You have no idea what I'm doing here, do you? No, I do know. It's, it's that film, but I can't remember what it was called. It's not but a film. film. It's not a film. Wasn't it a film? No. What was it? I'm dealing with an idiot. No. But... Good news. I've done a hundred yards and I now have another warning light. This one's like a yellow symbol with the car skidding about on it. I wonder, is it possible to clear diarrhea from an anti-lock braking system using a B? Because if it is, I'm definitely in the right place here. I got morning coffee, light lunches, cream teas, crafts, beeswax, but have they got anything for getting diarrhea out of an anti lock braking system? Please drive in and browse. I don't know how to tell them. They're not bees. Sheep. I know that. You won't get any honey out of the back of one of those. I'm driving the Nissan GTR. It says it here on the steering wheel. Like some other buttons, I'm going off to test the launch control to see if it's as dramatic and as remarkable as Jeremy says. It's literally the most amazing car in the world. Dennis! Right, off you go. Uh, Goodbye. Door mirror's gonna hit your camera. <laughs> Shut up. Right, what I'm going to do is drive down to the, uh, the main straight of our runway. I'm simply going to do a test of acceleration off the line. This has a remarkable launch control system. It has to be remarkable because this is a four-wheel drive car. That's difficult to get off the line. It's also turbocharged. That gives problems as well. The computer in this does all the work for you. It gets everything right. Throttle, the actuation of the automatic clutch, blah, blah, blah. It all translates, apparently, to your head smacking the headrest like that as you go off. So let's see. Here we are at the beginning of the main straight. It's all clear. I've checked for incoming aircraft. Oh, yes. So, here we are. Stop. I put my foot on the brake. It is in auto. There is an A on there. I push that one up. That goes red. I put that one down into comfort. I put that one up. That goes red. Everything is set. I plant my foot on there, and then I go... Bloody hell! That is spectacular. I'm going to do that again. Hang on. <laughs> That's tremendous. I've never gone off the line that well in a car. Not a car with launch control or anything. That's that's 
just terrific. Just make sure it wasn't a fluke. So you put your left foot on the brake, plant the throttle, and... <laughs> that is just a tremendous piece of work. I mean, whoever did all the calculations for that, bear in mind they've got to take into account in an instant what the road surface is like. That is... That is years worth of arithmetic, all being done like that. That's what computers are for. It's bloody brilliant. I'm going to do it again going the other way to see if it works just as well in a westerly direction. I'm sure it does. This time I've got to remember to change up myself into second. It all happens very quickly. Tremendous. That's 150. That is absolutely spectacular. Do you know, I think I should have one of these. Actually, do you know what? I think Jeremy should have one of these. It's right up his street. Now, look, you are, let's be honest, given to a certain amount of hyperbole. Who, me? You, yes. sir. But that is absolutely spectacular. It is unbelievable. It's perfect. Have you ever experienced no, acceleration? It is absolutely. I was just saying that it's like a year's worth of arithmetic is being done like that. Yeah, to make, because it also has to work out what the road surface is like. The and instant then, the wheels start moving, and it gets it. The only thing you have to do is you're so alarmed you forget to get the next yeah, exactly. gear. Exactly, you're you always it. on the rev limiter. Yeah, it's like a second later. No, but I did explain it is like press standing on the trigger for a bomb. It's a there is no car that accelerates from no, from over the 30 yards like this no, one does. Nothing does. Not. And a bike wouldn't, because you wouldn't be able to keep it on the ground. No, nothing does. I once went on a drag snowmobile in Scotland. No, in um, not Scotland, in Sweden which I've always thought was the fastest accelerating thing known to man. But that, this is quicker. This is beyond belief quick. Do you know what's the other weird thing? You like it. I do. I like it I as well. It. I want it. <laughs>